Welcome back. You're watching the late night news. On to some national stories now. 200 people are still missing, and the number of dead has gone up to over 150 in the lay that uh, in lay that was hit by flash floods recently. 110 tourists, half of them foreigners, are being looked after at the army's transit camp on the lay Manali road. They have been given food, medicine, and also phone connections to talk to their embassies. 35 satellite phones have been sent to lay. BSNL mobile services uh, have started uh, tonight. More uh, relief flights uh, have been sent. In fact, one Air Force plane reached today uh, and landed in Leh with relief material and tools for the moon debris. The Leh runway has been cleaned up and flights are operating. Special Indian Airlines, Jet Airways and Kingfisher are uh, flights operating from uh, Leh to Delhi. Now in Mumbai, six Coast Guard vessels and a helicopter with the anti-pollution dispersal space systems were pressed into service today to contain an oil spill caused due to a collision between two cargo ships off the Mumbai coast. Two merchant ships, Chitra and Kaleja, collided at the mouth of the harbour, five miles off the coast of Mumbai. The impact ruptured the hull of one of the ships, resulting in an oil spill. Five additional vessels will now help the Coast Guard ship to contain the oil spill. Maritime traffic in the vicinity has been regulated as MSC Chitra, which was grounded yesterday, is capsizing and 200 containers have already fallen into the sea. <clears throat> now, after nine days of continuous curfew in Kashmir Valley, a breather came on Sunday morning. This morning, when curfew was lifted after separatists called for normalcy, the curfew has been lifted only for the day, though tomorrow morning the curfew will be back. A curfew was imposed in all 10 districts of the valley for the past nine days after the valley witnessed intense protests, second time in two months in which 33 people lost their lives. And the soon-to-be married couple Shashi Tharoor and Sunanda Pushkar, it seems, are busy touring religious landmarks ahead of the wedding. Today, Tharoor and his fiancée visited the holy shrine of Khwaja Garib Nawaza in Ajmer where they offered chadar and roses. Recently, both of them were seen together at a Shani shrine in Shirdi in Maharashtra, where they performed a puja. They also visited the famous Sai Baba temple in Shirdi. Tejaswini Sawant became the first Indian woman shooter to win a world championship gold. Tejaswini shot a world record score of 597 in the finals of the 50-meter rifle-prone shooting event and won the gold medal. But since this is not an Olympic event, no quota for her for the 2012 London Olympics. Back here in the city, some of Ch Chennai's children and their parents turned hunters today. A school in Chennai this morning flagged off its annual treasure hunt rally. Join the excitement. One could feel the excitement in the air. Students, parents and organizers cheered on as the checkered flag was waved and the hunters fanned out. We caught up with the first team just before they raced off. I have three young people in my car, three young students, I think probably they guide me. I just drive for them and we work as a team. That's how the whole thing is. We're going to be happy, we're going to enjoy the whole ride. The event was organized by the Moms Club of Lady Andal School. The hunters swept across Chennai to unheard corners of the city to trace the hidden treasures. It was a fundraising event sponsored by Duet Films, which released Inidu Inidu recently. This particular event is our first fundraiser for the year, for the academic year. And it is for a learning center that we are building, uh, we are expanding it. So these funds are going to go towards that. Inidu Inidu is about a film where um, boys, you know, they, it, it's about, it's basically about coming of age. This is where it all starts, you know, you pass out of school, go and so we thought we'll uh, get back to the place where, you know, it all starts, get, getting back to the basics. And uh, we, we are here for our audio promotions, which was out on Friendship Day. Schools encouraging activities like this for a good cause within the academic period has been greeted by many as a change that is necessary. In Chennai with Pratik Shah, Minal Shah, NDTV Hindu. As we celebrate ahead of the Madras Day on 22nd August, we bring you the sights, sounds and tastes of our city, which was once Madras. Now, every place lay claim to a delicacy, so here's one which makes not Chennai's flock in numbers to a department So Take a look. If 
you are wondering what this little cup in my hand is, let me not make you curious. It's a cup of mango ice cream. But it's not just any banded mango ice cream. This is North Chennai's very popular Kuni Ramen's mango ice cream. Now this cup of mango ice cream that I'm holding in my hand is being sold for the past 70 years and it costs just rupees 10. Being sold at the Kuni Ramen departmental store right opposite Raipuram railway station, North Chennaiites flock to this shop not just to beat the, beat the heat, but they have this ice cream to taste the delight of having a mango ice cream that tastes out of the world. And if you don't believe me, I have with me over here a fan, a die-hard fan who comes for, who has been coming to eat this ice cream for the past 10 years. Tell us what you like about this ice cream, sir. I very much like this taste, man. Whenever I come to this bridge, I always come here. My dad only introduced me to always. So I very well like this ice cream. So uh, as you heard, it's it's a kind of a tradition, in fact, that's being passed on. Uh, his dad brought him here and he's been having this ice cream for the past 10 years. So, something that North Chennaiites can't live without. So, you don't need a branded ice cream. Next time you want to taste real mango ice cream, you know where to come. And a move to preserve the heritage of Tamil literature and to bring it to people across boundaries, Inland Theatre staged uh, Silipadikaram in French in Pondicherry. Composed nearly 2,000 years ago, the story revolves around three Tamil dynasties, the Choras, Pandyas and Cheyas. Now let's get to see this great epic on stage in French. One of the five epics of Tamil literature, Silipadikaram was put in writing by Tamil poet Ilango Adigal. Moved by the masterpiece, the epic was adapted into a drama by the chief minister of Tamil Nadu, M. Karnanidhi. The narrative brings out the story of Kanagi. Angered at the injustice meted out to her husband, Kovalan, Kanagi burns down the town of Madurai. We have succeeded of translating in other language, especially in French, and uh, really more, many of the foreign tourists, especially French tourists, witnessed uh, this program on this particular day, and uh, all foreigners really appreciated us. Inland Theatre staged the play in French in Puducherry. The two-art presentation, appreciated by Indians and foreign tourists alike, was the culmination of four months of rehearsal. The play le vande rumba raga va vande da kalingni oru da oru selpaga diyaran edithu panni adha vande oru French mai le kundu vande mori vande teri le naalam na vande andha. Enna solru da vallu expressions and then the scene panni na idu vande rumba raga arundhe. The theatre hopes to continue staging adaptations of Tamil epics in French and spread the richness of Tamil culture. With Gopinath in Puducherry, Bertila, NDTV Hindu. Well, and finally, some Bollywood entertainment. Actor Salman Khan, not the one to mince words, tells us how it was fairly easy for him to play a corrupt cop in the latest film, Dabang. Well, he is the most uh, wanted big boss and he can rightly be called the most dabang actor in uh, Bollywood. So how dabang is Salman? Little bit. Just little? Just, just a little bit. There are lots of people who, who are like a billion times more dabang than I can ever get. Salman Khan may be modest about his fear factor in real life, but on real, he remains fearless. Playing a corrupt cop in his latest film Dabang, he says he has been inspired by some real life characters. It's easy, you just uh, follow some, you know, corrupt guy and there are lots of people to follow. Who did you follow? <laughs> there are lots of them. At a small level, small level with large families and, <clears throat> and um, you, know, you know, corruption is, 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 is kind of okay. But when your salaries are that high, when you can very well manage to, to support your family and your children's education, kapade khana, vagera, 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 at that, that group, you know, corru you know, corruption is, is, is not cool at all. On his reported remuneration of 3.5 crore rupees per episode for hosting Big Boss, Salman preferred towing the diplomatic line. Uh, that, that, that never uh, is a concern. Um, <clears throat> but 
it's the same kind of connect. I mean, you know, Big Boss, uh, Das Kadam. Um, right now, they we finished two seasons. They're doing KBC. So I, I did. Uh, they came to me for a Big Boss. I saw it. Um, I just think that I could, um, <coughs> depending on the contestants, um, the inmates who go inside, how interesting I can make it on the outside. Would you? see yourself being in a house like cooped in a house for three months with no contact with the outside world i don't care i'm used to it well that's all we have for you now uh, keep watching any tv hindu for all the latest news and updates thanks for watching